www.santosirapotentials.com Signing at our channel So let's go, go back to this book Blessings uh, Blessing your grown children So na-start na natin to before Ayan So tapos na natin yung breath prayer natin So let's go back to this book So how do we bless our grown children? So, yun, praying God's blessing For my grown children So kahit grown na sila We still have to give the blessings to them Kasi di ba? They need to be successful. They need. They have challenges to face. So, kailangan pa rin nila yung assistance or guidance natin. So, may the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of God of Jacob protect you. May He send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May He remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May He give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift you up our banners in the name of the, our God. So Psalm 20, that's from Psalm 20, verse 1 to 5. So that's our blessing for our children. Now wishing them success, good health, safety, protection. So kailangan pa rin yan ng children natin sa atin even if they're grown already. So, how do we bless them? Blessing now. Sit still even for five minutes. Tell God exactly how you feel and what is in your heart. When possible, sit for a longer period of time. Rest quietly in God. Remember that he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So, Kumbaga, during our prayer time, isasama pa rin po natin sila. Siyempre, we have our prayer time for us and our husband or their father or siguro yung career natin or community or ministry, di ba? Pero include natin sila sa prayers natin. So, specifically, so sabi, write down your thoughts and feelings. Taking a few as or may spend many pages you like, tell everything, tell God everything. He can take care of Ask him anything. Don't hold back. What do you most want him to know about what your grown child, your family are going through right now? So share natin kay Lord, ano ba yung challenges ng family? What do our children need right now? How do they want more success on their career? Do they want to have their own family? Do they want to start or find a new house or find a new dwelling? Or kung anong mong po yan? We know that eh. So, Include natin sila sa prayers. Learn from parents and professionals who have faced similar heartaches. There is a wealth of wisdom to be gained through reading, listening, sharing, and spending time attending a group, support group, alongside who understand and emphasize. So, iba-iba po yung mga challenges natin with our children. So, parang sinasabi dito sa book ni Deborah Evans is parang, Let's uh, look for people who have the same wavelength as ours para a support, para magtulungan po tayo to how to bless our children. So, ano po ba yung mga needs ng grown children? Love, affection, acceptance, nurturing touch, sleep, rest, healthy food, a sense of security, a sense of belonging, support. So, yung support by the emotional, spiritual, social, practical from family and friends help with household tasks and expenses your caring presence so minsan yung just being there di ba para mag malaking help na po yun sa kanila so ano ba yung valuable strategies na we can use to bless our children who are facing different kinds of challenges in their everyday number one is to trust God yan po so syempre kung dati nilapit natin sila kay Lord so Tuloy-tuloy lang po na to trust God na for safety, for perfect health. So, tuloy-tuloy din po yung prayers natin na kasama sila. Place your grown child in his hands, in God's hands po, di ba? Surrender to God. Read the Psalms, yan. Consider the cross. So, yung cross kasi is a symbolization of sacrifice, di ba? Give your concerns to Jesus. So, kung meron bang things that you think you cannot handle, it's too much for you though give it to Jesus do what you can don't compare Ayan, so napakahirap po mag compare kasi nagsasalutan sila consider and rely on what the scripture says 
put God's armor in every morning. So, yan yung God's armor ilagay natin sa atin to protect us. Depend on Christ's strength. Express emotion honestly and helpfully. Get the support you need. Receive support from others. Always keep praying. So, yun po yung pinaka-ano na trust God and always keep praying. Surrender everything to God. Kung hindi po tayo pababayaan to bless our grown children. Stay safe everyone. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.